Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Asus ROG Dream League Season 3. My name's Odie Pixel. I'm here with Draskal, and we're ready to go into the final series of the day, and it's the final of the week. Burden United versus Basically Unknown. And I believe for this game, we've got a very special guest, haven't we, Draskal? We do. We do? And he, he can't even hold his smile back. He look at him. He's so excited to be cut. For the first time, ladies and gentlemen, EGM himself. I'm not talking about the fake EGM. It's the real EGM. He is going to be casting alongside myself and Draskal. I'm excited. Draskal, he can't wipe the grin off his face. I just always look like you this. You just always... Yeah. <laughs> well, we're ready to go. Into the draft. We've already had the draft begin. EGM, how are you doing, sir? Doing great. Sir. Absolutely fantastic. We're making so, space. We're making EGM, space. What, what, what strikes out to you so far from the draft? Here, you can, um, you can sit where I am. Okay. We can share sit. Why don't we uh, move them uh, together and make a sofa? That, that's can, totally that's not going to work. Totally <laughs> worst idea ever. <laughs> Uh, yeah, go. as expected, a band out Wisp and Magnus. Yes. Troll and Sniper. Okay. Just as we thought, picked up Shadowfin and Lina. Mm, yeah, I don't know, it was kind of what we expected from the bands. But they picked up Clock and Vanish in the first picks. Kind of random. They've not banned out the PL. <laughs> and they've not picked the PL. I mean, what's, yeah, what's up with that? Is it, I mean, do you think Burn United would still pick it alongside the I mean, SF and yeah. Lina? They could pick it like as an off lane or something, but oh, uh, as they do now. That, <laughs> so it looks like off lane PL. This has to be Mag, right? Oh, they go Sky first, okay. Mag's been banned. Mag's banned. First ban. First ban, First ban from oh, Burn yeah, United. Oh, yeah, okay, sorry, I'm blind. Sing, sing. I'm too far away from the screen. He knows how Rise works. Okay. So they've got the Sky off the clock and the Venge combination. That's pretty nice. Yeah, yep. yeah. decent. Good against the PL as well, you know, at least until he gets his Manta. Kind well, of a... he'll, he'll get Manta and Defusal, so he yeah, has well, a lot yeah, of ways of getting out. Yeah, yeah, but... Who would you want to be right now if you were in either of these teams? Go EGM. Doing? What teams do you want to jump draft? into? Yes. Which draft do you want? Which side do you want? Uh, I will probably take Burden United. Yeah, now I'll take Burden United. Oh, the Earthshaker. That's all that needed. But the Beastmaster. Oh. Well, what's up with the Beastmaster, boys? Yeah, it's good vision, I guess. Gank you don't see lot. it that much. Yeah, it's yeah. probably just take a bird out and scout with for the clock and the Sky Rat to get the easy kills with the combo. Okay, so... Is this a Tinker last pick? Tinker? I have no idea. Tinker? Could be. Really? They, they can do it with their heroes, but then it would be like a weird laning phase because they would have to have like oh, yeah, they could Beast do the Master farm. But it's still like the only Tinker for late game then as well. Yeah. And so, so. But uh, I think they'll pick a core. Yeah. I'm but not they sure. They could safe lane Tinker too. Well, for BU. We're talking. No, but well, they're both <laughs> BU. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> unknown, I think. They could they could like safe lane Tinker mid Beast Master. Yes. But do you think the that. Phantom Lancer is off lane or is it safe lane? I'll be Sing Sing PL though. It's got to be. Yeah, it's, it's got to be mid, at least. No, yeah, they, they he can, does it safe lane. Burn okay. United can still pick yeah. another core, though, if they want. And then send PL off. But I don't think oh, they will, uh, if no. they... I don't know if I, they will I, do I reckon they've still just not picked Paris' era. You know, you know, the off lane. I think, isn't it not yeah, just yeah, I mean, the it's between the two. Can? It's either yeah. a core or an off laner. There's, yeah. there's no other option. Unless they wanted to run the Lena core. But then they they have to fit the SF in a weird way, which is probably unlikely. So, Draskal, you're a bang on. So now with the final ban, who do they want to be taken away from BU in this side? They're going to ban a core, cool. probably. I mean, it, they could ban... Stop calling BU. Yeah, it's like, stop, it's just... I don't know who they're talking about. It's like, oh, BU, BU, BU. Yeah, BU is going to ban for BU. So, uh, mm. Burning United, who are they going to ban? Who are they looking to take away from basically on there? Oh, this is so confusing. It could be uh, Void Skyrath. I mean, it could... Yeah. But yeah, Void works well against they that They played team. Void, right? Yeah, yeah. They lost. But they don't have mags, so maybe they won't pick Void, I don't know. Yeah, that's annoying, because most melee carries get a lot worse at solo carrying without mag. But yeah. they still have Venge to amplify damage. I mean, what other carries are you kind of looking at to out-carry the PL? You want something, I think, with team I mean, fight. they could do so, but she's yeah? so, so... Against PL? Oh, with the diffuser, yeah, but doesn't though? the ulti, like, kill the illusions? But they respawn so fast, that's the problem. Yeah, but they got a lot, they got a lot of stuns. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. It's hard though. Like the yeah, last I'm trying to think tough. of uh, a. Okay. They need one solo core that can like do enough damage to solo carry this. I mean, the Spirit Breaker ban. So I mean, basically, I know they're kind of feeling that Burning United, they are going to run the Lena SF PL as a tri core, and perhaps the SB was going to be a final pickup. We saw Sing Sing play the SB, but I'll be surprised if they don't put Sing Sing on the PL because that's his hero. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what's up with that ban. I mean, do you feel anything? The last that? time Burning United played though, they did a tri lane like aggro like. With yeah. a farming hero, and then they went safe lane solo, Spirit Breaker, and Sing played it, and it ended up working out really well. But that was against Flipside, I want to say, when they did that. So I'm not entirely sure if they want to go aggro again. Like this lane feels pretty weak to me. Shaker, PL, Luna. Yeah, it's super weak. 
you don't really want to aggro mm -hmm. around. Okay. Well, that's a Paris offlane brew, I think, isn't it? Also, it's tiny. Mm. Tiny without the IO, EGM. Is it good? I mean, it's good when you get the blink fast. If you can pick up a fast blink there, then anything can happen. If you want to turn the sensitivity down, I think you Holy can click shit. that middle thing. <laughs> oh, it's... That button. This yeah. one? Yeah, I think it makes Look it. Look at that. Oh, actually, that just made it worse. <laughs> oh, it's the little bars on the mouse. Wait, you can right. see them. Oh, wait. So Whilst the cool. adults sort out the there technical no, issues, welcome fun. to the game, ladies and gentlemen. Burden yeah. United versus Basic the Unknown. It's the final of week two. The winner of this, of course, goes straight through to league play to join top tier teams like uh, who's in there? It's like Empire. Uh, we've got an IP. Lions. Uh, I think Lions, Navi are in there as well. Uh, right? And then tier two, such as Na'Vi. No. Oh, no. Shots fired. That's Ladies fine. and gentlemen, no, we believe in Na'Vi. We still, there's going to be a comeback. TI5, they're going to take it. Trust me, you've heard it here first. Anyway, we're into the final. It's myself, Odie Pixel. I'm going to be joined by not only Draskal, by EGM himself as well. He's a lad who's got a bit of a background. He's won a few lands in the past, so he should know his stuff. Anyway, into the game on the side of the Radiant Paris. Needs to be a little bit careful. There's pure evil in the tree line on the venge. We've also got, in fact, can we go and offer a little bit of weapon stock and see who's there? And thank you. Arise. Oh, well, oh. he's walked into them. That's an avalanche into him. He's like missile into the arcane bolt. And now they come through the right thing. The fish are oh. Earthshaker, what a hero, yeah, EGM. Perfect stun there coming out from Earthshaker. Scarf, he's, he's not done. He wants to go for a little bit dead. more. Both nah, teams fighting on top this. Room. So, Necroman on the SF. He's going to be up against who, who's in the mid lane for the side of uh, basically unknown. It's going to be, uh, rise on the Beastmaster. So Beastmaster SF. What are we going to expect from that matchup? I have no idea. I haven't, I haven't SF, seen. Uh, I yeah. think it stomps this matchup. Yeah, because I haven't seen Beastmaster go mid in ages. But um, with the new pig, it might work actually, because it can control the room so easily. Well, you can deny That's one true. every time at least. Yeah. I mean, you can have two picks up. Yeah, if you time the boars properly, you can. Yeah. But I think it's easier to just stack and then use the other boar for... Uh... Yeah, I should be able to uh, deny the most of the creeps in the start. Especially when he goes double boar like this. No. It's control mate. That's so annoying. Yeah, it's so easy for him. <laughs> right mean, super Negro, once he hits level 3 on the SF, is uh, level 2 raise going to be enough to pretty much yeah, yeah, yeah. clear the He's going to clear the boars yeah. so fast. Sorry. And harass him as well. That's going to be a slight issue for a rise, but we'll see how he starts off in the lane. Top lane, you've got this off lane brew. It will be Paris on the brew, and he's up against Nico Baby on the tiny, and Insulin on the Skyrath, and of course they do have the backup of Venge, which is being played by Pure Evil. This is, uh, I mean, uh, for a brew off lane, it's not a pretty lane, is it? No, it's really rough. They have a lot of nuke damage, double stun, slow toss. Yeah, they can kill him easily if he has. I think overstep. that's why they pick tiny as well. Seal plus tiny combo is insane amount of damage. Yep. Indeed. Bottom lane, looking at the offlaner for basically unknown. You've got mind control. He's got his clock. He, he absolutely loves this hero. And it's up against Sing Sing on the PL. And uh, Sing Sing on the PL has the backup of Miners. They've actually rotated Earthshaker to the top lane. Do you reckon they're going to keep it as this dual lanes? And is that the best move for Burden? Yeah, they'll probably keep the lane like this. Because they just want to get XP on uh, while they're standing up Earthshaker to the top to help him out. Uh, yeah, but they, they have sick kill potential here on the clockwork as well mm -hmm. with a double. With the slow and then the stun to double nuke. So, yeah, you can probably kill him whenever he oversteps. Oh, what kind of uh, skill? If we're going to have a look at mind control weapons, what are we seeing coming out from uh, the clock? He is, he's got the point in cogs. He's saving his He's point. saving it. So, yeah. I guess, is he still yeah. eyeing up the lane, figuring if he can get a kill in this uh, situation, and if not, going for the rocket flare? He could be waiting for three to go double battery if he okay. thinks he can kill the Lina, and then otherwise, he'll probably just go two flare and then save his uh, level four and five points, both for battery assault. If he thinks that he can't get a solo kill, he'll just level flare. There's no reason to say. Yeah, I don't think he can get a solo kill as well, because the yeah. peel can always jump into the cog yeah. with this W true. or throw a spear, so he spawns an illusion to tank the damage. Actually, yeah. that is true, yeah. Battery assault is not going to be the answer to that lane, indeed. But it is mind control clock. There's a lot of faith in the guy on this hero. I'll be surprised if he gets totally destroyed in lane from just past performances that we've seen him be able to pull off. So, I mean, so Tiny, we were talking about people that are going to be able to outcarry the PL. I guess Tiny's one of them. Well, Tiny can clear illusions quickly, which is nice. And again, like you can pop a brew really easily. And mid game, that's pretty important. Like blink Tiny and a seal is a yeah. dead panda. Like there's no way he can get his ulti off. It's insane damage. Yeah. And, uh, talking about the panda, is that pretty much what you'd expect? See, Paris just go straight for the blink dagger in this situation. I don't know. I, offlane brew, I don't see much. So I don't know if he wants to go for like phase or arcanes or something. Maybe arcanes because his team benefits a lot from them and then he can go blink or something. Yeah, I think he either goes bottle or uh, mana boots and then goes blink. But sometimes he goes straight blink. It's all depending on how it goes, I guess. 
But he's not getting anything. Yeah, he's not getting anything. So he's probably gonna go. I would guess to get picks up maybe a bottle. I'm not sure. Bottle's cheaper. Can they yeah, contest top rune though? I don't know. Seems kind of risky. Uh, yeah, it's. Kinda... I guess before 6 p.m. can't really do anything. Why, why do you feel that they did pick the brew in this situation? What, what, what is so good about the hero that uh, you know kind of warrants a pick at this stage? It's just good team fight control. Like, yeah. If you get a good split off, it's a guarantee that you'll win. Nice fissure. Indeed, he does get the toss back onto Brew. Brew getting fairly low to the punches of Tarny, but the attack speed isn't there to bring him down. Magic Missile will hold the Earthshaker in place, and with the Arcane Bolt flying through as well, and the punches, it's going to bring Ooh, him low. Nico, so close baby. to being raided, GM. That was super going, close. That was almost yeah. right. Rocket is Flare? It? Hello, boys. Oh, a little bit short there. Paris and come with me. Uh, would that have been, would have been enough for the Earthshaker? Yeah, we would have killed the panda though. Yeah, it was yeah. way too far down. It was, it was uh, a little bit off point. Is he going to go for a second one? He's going for a second one. Here we go. Round oh. two. Come on, Earthshaker. Uh, it might be. Oh, yeah, this looks baby. good. This looks good. Oh, 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 oh. Control. I called it on the Earthshaker, <laughs> getting first blood. Yeah. That With the flare. Yeah, I'll even call the hero. It wasn't in the river though, EG. I was in, oh, no. it was in the fountain. That's close to That's the river. Quite similar. Decent. What mind control? I mean, we were talking about him at the start. What a player. Yeah. That was, wasn't yeah. mind control the guy that solo killed the morphling? Yes, he was. He's been... Wait, his, <laughs> his first flare scouted where they were, right? Yeah. It didn't yeah. do damage. Because he was under it. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. So that was pretty good. Like, yeah. What a genius. <laughs> God. <laughs> mind control play. Here we go though. Rise. He's got the armor. He's got an invis rune. Can he blow up Necroman with the ult and the axes and the boar? Uh, he might not be able to kill him solo. Oh, what about the courier? Roll the, you can't roll the courier, can you? It's physical, yeah, you can. You can. You can. You can. Yeah. He's going to yeah. do it. Hello, boys. That is a courier down oh, and Necroman. That's huge. He might die for this, actually. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, okay. I didn't race. He's got a boar if he wants to get the slow out. It wouldn't have killed well. him, I don't think. No, it wouldn't have been close. Oh! oh! Measure your words, son. You're going down for the count. 1-1. One, one. A rise that goes fissure. down. That he just gets the courier. Is, is that worth it for the side of... Uh, oh, yeah. Killing the yeah, courier. Yeah. Yeah. It was worth it. Well, 1-1. One, one. Five and a half minutes in. Sing Sing still continues to farm. It's the third on the uh, network for the moment as well. The Tiny. I mean, so the Tiny, is he going to go straight for the Axe or is Blink what he needs this game? I think the Blink fight? is really nice. Yeah, yeah combo. It's, you should also... Oh, it's Nico Baby, actually. Never mind. Uh, yeah, he goes for the Power Trust first. Some people like to go Midas, but I'm, I'm not sure. So we're probably going to pick up the Blink and just get some easy kills on Shadowfin, maybe. The thing is, with Roar and then a Blink Dagger and Clockwork, like your pick potential is insane. Yeah, insane. Like you can kill anybody. They have insanely good pick up with these heroes. All right, Necroman. Picks up a bounty room. Minots looking to find some farm in the jungle. Level four at the moment. It's going to find a dandy for the Lena. So this Beastmaster mid lane, is this a hero that is going to be looking to rotate out the lane, or will it be sticking in the mid lane, trying to compete with the SF for farm for the majority oh, of the game? You're, you're not going to stay yeah. mid, no way. No. He's just rotating as fast as he can. The thing it's... is, like, he'll probably, I think... Oh. Wait, who's battery assault? Okay, never mind. Yeah, Nothing's just, happening. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why do I hear battery assault? Premature but battery assault. He'll probably just max out Hawk, and then his clockwork will hit six eventually, get blink on tiny, and you just go ham. Like, you look for fights all the time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, totally a little bit off center, a little bit off point. How can we never see blink on the clock? It's a better late game item than early. Okay. Like, early game, you see a lot of blade mails, four staff, because they're, yeah. they're items you can build up to. Yeah. Whereas blink yeah. dagger is just like a. I have to save 2,250 gold for a Blink okay. Dagger. And yeah. then it's only really useful in one case, and that's if you want to Blink on a hero who has an escape and then hook out yeah, to exactly. catch him. So it's a very one-dimensional item pickup for him. Oh, here we go. Rise and Insolent now. They're going to smoke up with the Hawk as well. That's going to give them some very nice vision in terms of trying to catch someone out here. They could go straight for the Lena. That would be the easy pick-off with the Roar and the Axes. The smoke actually getting yeah. dispelled across the trees there, but they... they want to get the peel. Was the Hawk's vision enough to see it? Ah, yeah. Zing Zing. This would yeah, be a nice does. kill. With the ancient seal, indeed, EGM. Yeah. You're a banger. He is bang dead. <laughs> he and, uh, is dead. He got smashed there by a Ryzer's rotation. So who's the one now for basically unknown? I mean, is, is this quite clearly basically unknown's advantage, or is the fact that SF is farming very well alongside the PL mean that Burden United it for you, for you guys at this point? Who's who's ahead? I think it's pretty even yeah, at this it's point. Even. It's just they're giving the XP to Brewmaster mid now, so it's SF can farm jungle. I think the most important part is like when Sakshka hits six, his ultis have to be good. Yeah. If they're yes. not good, it's really easy for uh, basically unknown to snowball. A good thing would be to gank him right here when he's uh, like level four and he's super greedy. He's gonna try to get six as fast as he can. If they kill him one more time, it's gonna be huge because the ult is gonna be so late. Yeah. 
Oh, Ryze trying to give Necroman the old rundown with the slows from the boar as well. He could potentially go for the killer. There's no bold charges. He doesn't want to dive that deep, though. There was backup of Lena in the neighborhood. And Necroman, we're seeing what he... I believe it's him that does this every game, isn't it, Drasko? Where he hides his item build, he keeps it all in his stash, and then gets it sent out later on when he's actually completed the mech. Because the mech, I believe it's still in the stash. He's started to work on a mid lane. Magic Missile onto Parish with the slows as well. He's only level five. He won't have the primal split. Doesn't matter though. He's going to be able to get away in time. And there we go. So he's got it on the curry. I think he, maybe he's getting it sent out now um, to himself. But two to one. Tiny, has he managed to close in on anything after the treads? Working towards the blink still? Yeah. Yeah, he even buys a yeah. wand. It's he, very yeah, uncommon. This is a real blink build. Okay. Yeah. Where you just pick stick and bottle and then you start roaming. Yeah. So he's going to have his blink soon. Start going ham. But yeah, I mean, smoking top lane. As soon as he get, oh, this is yeah. a good kill if they this, can get it. It would be a very good kill if they get it. Minus, this is a huge kill. It's going to be tricky. No, he's not. They got a Fisher into Light the, Strike Array. It's not tricky at all. What am I on about? And that's big. I mean, the Tiny Watt lost about a couple of hundred gold on his yeah. way to the Blink Dagger. It was so close to Blink, and now he's yeah. in 1500 gold again. He has more time for the Panda to hit six. Yep. Which, by the way, he has like oh. no health. <laughs> he was super low. Yeah, he has like was nothing right now. I was farming Dino. <laughs> Bottom lane, we see a rotation coming in from Clock Dyer's and the Skyrath. They've got the hookshot available. Yeah, he knows. He, he does know. Sing Sing. With his Sing Sing Six Cents. <laughs> Old back. <laughs> Sorry. That was awful. That was, that was, that was so awful. awful. Shit, that <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, the rotation now. Hookshot, they've got it. They're going to head towards the mid lane. Necro Man. Well. Man down, Ancient Seal following up. He's trying to punch up against Mind Control. Maybe it's Maybe. the wrong man down. Taking Maybe. Maybe the races, oh. he just can't do it. He waves his hands about. Fisher to the face, though. Clockwork. Bites off a little bit more than he can chew. And uh, he goes down. So it's a one-for-one -one trade, but they do get the SF that favoring unknown. super unlucky as well. I had three creeps next to him and still got battery hit. Every <laughs> hit. Yeah, but I think it around. would have been better if he just yeah, walked just to the top. Yeah, he could have auto-attacked him as well. Yeah. He could have just traded, but yeah. Was unlucky. Are Top lane. They're about to get the tower here as well. That will help Tiny back on his way to the blink. He's 1700 gold. If he gets the last hit on the tower here, he's going to be very, very close to picking up the blink dagger. Tosses up the Avenge and uh, that will get him the last CS there on the tower. So 2.1k gold on the Tiny. I mean, as soon as he gets the blink dagger, will he just leave that lane for someone else on his team and start rotating or does he need anything else? Their whole team is built around killing. Yeah, like, they real. just want to kill. I think he's going to smoke up with Beastmaster or someone as soon as he gets it. Mid lane Fisher oh, coming into Skyrath. He doesn't manage to get the concussive shot onto the uh, Top shaker. lane is Hazel Tiny as well. Freezes oh, he misses out. the stun. Oh, the evasion there for Paris. Tosses him up, and uh, Promise Split will come out. Can uh, Paris okay, go for a killer? I think that's fine. Uh, see if he dispels the haste. He no, doesn't. He's not. He could have just put him up in the air, too. Yeah. He's just going to go for the Venge. He probably won't even get a kill. Oh, hello. Oh. Tony getting a good oh, shot up the skirt of Lena there. Punches bad. her as well. He's going to die as well. That's uh, so a one for one, and yeah, well, so, oh, nice fisher though. These fishes have been big. Paris will go down there. Two that was one. a really bad trade. Yeah, that was terrible. They split. The first split only kills the support, and they lose their brewmaster and the Lena. Yeah, it was not good. It was, yeah, now it's yeah. Brew, the, uh, Brew is not going to accomplish much now. He has to wait for his second split. Two minutes. What well, bottom lane? Sing Sing, he's ready to go ham. Hookshot will hold him in place for a little bit. He's going to doppelganger himself into the cogs. Oh. That is going to be a dead clockwork. Now, pure evil. Can he do anything here? There's going to be a TP backup coming in as well from oh, the he's tiny. Dead, I think. He's yeah, got the blink. Window. Sing Sing, it's a level three doppelganger. The cooldown isn't that big, but it's too big for him to handle. Seven seconds until it was available again. He goes down. Nice rotation and nice reveal of the blink dagger on Nico, baby. I had yep. to assume oh. that he was going to have it soon anyway. I don't think they can kill him. No mana on tiny. Uh. Pushing the mid tower as well. Yeah, insolent. Doesn't want to reveal himself here. Come with me. Has got enough mana for the Fisher. Ancient Seal up is going to stop that spell being oh. cast, though. The TP reactions, are they coming in. Arise blinks forward with the ball slow no. onto the Earthshaker. Mind Control oh. coming in as well. Nice Fisher onto the Ego. Oh. With the Echo Slam, brings him down with a final punch from Necroman. Now, Nico Baby blinking in, chucks Arise into the air, smashes the Shadow Fiend. Double kill there for the SF. Killing spree for the Tiny. Three heroes go down. Well, no, sorry, two down on the side of Birdie United, but they do lose two on the side of basically Unknown. Who's, who's that favor in there, EGM? They lost the Shadow Fiend, so. That's not what they want. And did it buy his mech before they Did they, they get the tower or did they get denied? Because if they got the tower, I think it's worth it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he got the tower. He, yeah, he, was okay, then. Yeah, he bought items before. He got his mech in the stash. So I think, yeah, they, they earned from it. The Shadow Fiend. Still, though, like double blink now on basically Yeah, it's going to be a madness now. Really scary. And Arise is going book, I guess. Yeah. Let's see if he picked up a smoke. Like Necro Book 3 early on with Blink on Beastmaster. Yeah, we're smoking both lane. Okay, 
we go. Four the people smoke. Got the yeah. Five oh. people smoke. He's six Hold now, two on the sky. Yeah, this is gonna be. Let's see who's <sighs> already even teeping. Oh by god. Shadowkin is gonna die again. This is the reverse dream. He's got the mech. Is right, that he that he 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 not enough. <laughs> there is four stuns. Nico, yeah, baby, so arise. In comes the party. Pops the mech. Tries to get off Requiem. Ancient Seal's gonna cancel that one. That's the Shadow Fiend down. Primal split. They will toss mind control up into the air, but they won't be able to have to follow up their burden. They're one hero down in this fight, and they do not want to continue this fight. Getting back to the tree line there, the Brewmaster. Oh, uh, Shaker, be careful where you're shaking. Blink forward from Nico, baby. Tossed into Avalanche. He is dead. That's another kill there. The aggression oh. continues. Roar onto Paris as he gets scouted out by the Hawks. Flying Vision. Beautiful play there from basically the unknown. Three heroes down. And you guys were right. The aggression has now yeah. been turned on. And now we, we talked about the Brewmaster. He used both his splits completely wasted now. So I haven't done, he hasn't achieved anything since he got level six. This Poor is guy. so horrible for Burn. Yeah. <laughs> They're falling behind super hard now. What's uh, Peel's farm right now? Let's see Peel. Wait. Whoa, is he going Scotty Rush? Maybe it's Aghanims. Nah, you know what? He <laughs> might go back for Diffusal. <laughs> top lane though, it doesn't matter. Sing Sing getting hook shot, blinked on by Nico. The punches are there. He just managed to get the doppelganger nice. out. He will continue to run, but the battery oh. assault straight oh, onto him. Enough. He's in a lot of trouble. Caught in the cogs, tries to turn and fight, but he's going to turn and die. Oh, no, oh, the perfect. Fisher, and if the hot push. Oh, oh, the rocket flare. Yeah. Somebody call 911. I don't know why, but Sing Sing, God, he needs well, help. he needs an ambulance. He, he certainly does. That was pretty brutal. 12 to 8. So I was going to say, PL is one of their hopes at the moment because he was split pushing and yeah. split farming. But now if they're finding the kill on the PL, yes. I mean, basically unknown. He's what even a... going for like a HP build just to survive. So I don't... I still think he goes back for Diffusion. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's going to go back for Diffusion for sure. There's no way he goes Scully first item. If, okay. Even if it does that, he won't be able to get it before the game is over, I think. What's the Tiny going Ags now? See, tiny. Yeah, it's going to a normal build. It's going to be a quick axe as well. I would, I would normally yeah. say that, like in these circumstances, the PL team could come back. But since it's tiny that he's against, yeah. it's so hard because your illusions are going to be permanently dead. Paris. Oh, uh, Paris. That's uh, that's what you call it. Oh AFK. my god, dead. Goodbye. Poor guy. Wow. Chucked up into the air, shot down to the ground with a mystic flare. Sing Sing comes in, he oh, wants to join the no. party. Sing Sing, what are you doing, sir? Light oh. will catch him on the air, but no, the he gets the doppelganger out. Mech from Necroman Beautiful keeping yourself monitors. Laguna Blade on Skyrath have brought down someone at least. Mind oh, Control and Puri will get caught out by the Fisher. Mind Control goes down as well. They're going to try and chase down Venge. Nico Baby's still in the back of the fight, looking for Sing Sing, but he doppelgangers away from the toss. Now it's Nico Baby's in a bit of trouble. There's four heroes here. Light Track coming down onto the tiny. He'll get blown up as well. Great fight there for Burning United. They take three heroes down, they only lose the Brew at the start. Start. Maybe the AFK brew was part of the plan. Yeah, maybe. Uh, <laughs> they got a really nice Fisher from Come With Me there. Security kills and shadow. Those cogs actually so kind of screwed them. Yeah, they kind of screwed them because yeah. there were two people standing next to each other with mech, so clock didn't do anything. I mean, still, you know, heroes aside, do uh, does basically unknown. Do they need to be worried if this PL gets farmed? Do you feel they'll always be able to deal with the PL? I mean, farm PL is always scary. Yeah, it's scary, but yeah, they have tiny to deal with it. But I feel like yeah, it's super scary when it gets super late game. And they have uh, and you also have to worry about like yeah. your Lina's gonna transition into core SF and Blink Shaker. Like even though Billy Brew has been pretty much no impact. Yeah, so he's still gonna have, like uh, toss him up to the air. With yeah. the brew hey, the Fisher fight. to the face of the vengeful spirit. That's not Scarf Mage waving his dong in your mouth, and that is a kill there onto Lena as Nico Baby goes forward with mind control, blowing up the fiery maiden hook shot. What was it onto? It was onto the ancients. He's just yeah. trying to close the gap, trying to get in range of the Earthshaker. Oh, Pure evil with the swap <laughs> has the magic missile, but turns around and says, "What? What am I doing toss, here?" Toss, toss. Nico Baby with the toss. Yeah. They've got the follow-up avalanche. They need to ancient seal down onto the Earthshaker. Double kill there for the tiny two. Heroes down again on Birdie United. Back and forth, back and forth, but basically yeah. unknown coming out on top overall. Yeah, it's just back and forth all the time. Messed up the hook and people is flying everywhere. But they still managed to get the kill. Uh, Three tower as well. Yeah. Their yeah. team actually is not that good at doing Roche. Which one? Uh, basically unknown. I mean, they have Venge, but their team is like. Yeah, I mean, they have Venge. That's like all you need. Just by Vlad's on Venge. I think it's going Medallion as well. Yeah. yeah. As soon as they get Medallion, they can just do it with Tiny. Tiny, 200 gold away from the Aghanims now as well. He's got the Ogre Club and the Blade of Alacrity on the Courier. Just needs to find that Staff of Wizardry. And they're going to go straight in. They say, we don't need an arm, uh, the, the medallion. We could do it without. They're going to give it a shot. They've got the full five-man roster in here. Echo Slam isn't available. Oh, Burning Boris United. Swords. They've cool. got the rest of the uh, old online, line, but it's going to fall pretty quick. Nonetheless, they're going to try and smoke in, and they are going to try and contest oh. it. The Rocket Flare, Enough. not going to scout them out, though, but it is going to spook them. They're out. They don't want to stick around. They know that Burning United are off the map, and they're on their way. And they was it? The, did the Dire Ward actually scout out that smoke? They've got some I very aggressive. So. Uh, yeah, I've seen it on the yeah, edge. Yeah, yeah. 
Are they gonna try and steal it? Oh, they're gonna go for the steal. Oh, this is super risky. Burden, sing, sing. Come on, oh, mate. No, they can't do that. Yeah, it's too low now, so they kind of want to do it. Nico Baby tosses the earth shaker. Minot's trying to chase him down. The mech's going to be popped, giving them the boosted armor for the start of the fight. The Gunner Blade oh, onto the no. Tiny. Tiny will fall. A rise from the high ground gets the roar onto Minot's. Rocket Flare comes through. They've still got a hook shot if they want to try and jump in. Sing Sing chasing down a rise. There's your hook shot onto Come With Me and Necroman. Cogs, Come With Me's trapped him with him, or is he trapped him with you? Because Mind Control gives an echo slam uh, to the face, trying to get the Fisher out, but the battery is so cancelling the cast animation. Three heroes down on Burn United. They're going to lose Paris as well. It's just Sing Sing remaining. He's trying oh to clean God. up. Mind control so low. He's so low. Will he find it? The stick charges the swap. No, oh. mind control stays alive. Oh, it's a please. double kill for Venge. It's oh. a team wipe. Basically unknown. They do it again, and now they're going to clean up Roche. It looks so bad for them, but they, the Arise buyback, yeah, won that they, fight they played so good there. Oh my, yeah, I thought they were going to lose when they lost the tiny instantly, but they bought back, and then they just made sick plays. Yeah, very nice plays. Basically, a nine there. Oh, you, you were saying earlier they're impressing you, Jurassic. They're impressing me as well. I mean, EGM. That was is, a gigantic is, is, outplay. Is this yeah, a that, draft issue or is this just no, being that, outplayed? That was this is... outplay. Like, yeah. hard outplay. And he's tipping bottom. He's panning it. He choose nice. to go for the power treads and bottles because he's super poor. Yeah, he's not had the best game. This tiny is massive now, too. Blink eggs. Yeah. And Aegis. I think he goes BKB now. Yeah, it's a, the fights. problem is the panna because if you push the drunken stuff on him, he gets a lot of miss chance. You don't, you kind of don't want to go MKB on uh, Tiny because crit is such a value item on him. Yeah. Like BKB crit AC or something. Yeah, probably like that. Yeah, it's a good build. Okay, so back looking at Minots on the lean, he's trying to make his way towards the Yule Scepter, which he'll have fairly shortly. PL, how are we doing on the PL front? How is he doing after that point booster? He's got he the is, ultimate. Oh, he's he's going, going Scard. Uh, do you guys not agree with that? You feel Diffusal really would be the best choice? His threat is not going to be that high in the fight without the Diffusal. That's the problem. Uh, he's going to be tanky, but he won't do enough damage. But I guess yeah. he doesn't need that much damage right now. Yeah, I think you're underestimating yeah. Diffusal, though, like how yeah, much I mean, it really it does. Yeah, does insane amount of damage. But I guess he wants to tank up first. I'm, I'm sure he will go back for it afterwards. Dyer Top yeah. tower is under attack. Top lane Necroman, he's closing on the BKB. He's got the Ogre Club, the recipe. Nearly, uh, well, he's 1k off that Mithril Hammer. Looking for a bit of split push action at the moment. At the same time, basically unknown. They've got four heroes heading down to the tier one on the bottom lane. They should be able to clear this one out. They do, of course, still have the Aegis on the Tiny. Tiny himself also joining the push. They've got the Clockwork in the middle lane, and uh, well, he's just going to be heading down there as well. Got the hook shot available if anyone wants to try and contest from Burden, but they're going to have to let that one go. Basically unknown, take the tower, tier one on the bottom. Yeah. Burden, they're looking for a tier one on the top. They might be able to get it. They've got pretty much the uh, the full four man here, and uh, they will do indeed. Shadowfiend getting the gold from that one. But the push continuing to come from basically unknown. I mean, can Burden United stop a push like this at this point? Uh, they can, but it's yeah. tough. They, they I don't can't think race they either, because Tiny and is clearing the tower so fast with eggs. They have everything up. I think they really need Shake or Blink, though. That's the biggest problem, isn't it? They need another way to initiate. Yeah, if Burden goes for a trade now, they're just going to go base. He's Actually, they're tipping back. Oh, they have Aegis. They can actually fight into it. Yeah. Not Let's see if they TP out or not. TP, TP, TP. They're looking. Oh, they can't find it. It's going to go walk back. It looks like they can maybe kind of fake I mean, that's still in. a flat out win for basically a no-no, because yeah. they get a tower. Yeah, of course. And then they just can TP back they to the as well. What's come with me is Blink looking like. You or no, wait. Uh, use. Oh, those minus, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, he's not even close. Yeah, it's not even close. Shaker needs that so bad this game. But Lina is pretty formed. Yeah. His heals. The problem is they have to play so far back. Like the Lina and the Shaker can die so easily. Yeah. There, that's the problem. There's so much CC and damage in the same thing. Nuka baby Far back. heads over to the uh, Radiant Ancients. He's gonna be able to clear that up. Has the backup of pure evil. And uh, the moment, I mean, Birdie United playing very conservative. They're keeping themselves in their own jungle after just taking the tier one. They don't want to overextend onto the other side of the map. I mean, what is the best plan of action for Burden? Is it to kind of turtle it, make yeah, sure you get the farm on the PR? Yeah, they just want to delay the game as yeah. long as they can because they have dual core that's way stronger late game. As long as they can control Tiny in the fights, they should be fine. And they can do that easily with Panda. And they're looking at the Tiny. His, what is he going for? Is it clear yet? Do we see what he's going for after the Agony? He makes anything. He's got a lot of money. What's he's he? going to make BKB. Like, yeah, I, I, I it's going to be BKB, Crit, and Assault, for sure. That's yeah. the only way you build him. Yeah. If you want to go high ground, you need BKB. That's the yeah. problem. Because against Shaker and Lina, you're never going to be able to hit the tower. You're just going to get fissured and like spammed out. Yeah, and even the Drunken Haze is going to be on him. and can't hit anyone. Yeah. 
Well, Rise on the bottom lane, he gets the roar onto Rome. <laughs> Necro Man, look at all the TPs. Fisher will catch my oh, control. He gets off the Red Queen, does thing. a fair bit of damage here to yeah. the Beastmaster and the Clockwork, but Clockwork with the hook shot holding him in place through the BKB. BKB is not going to save you against the slaps from Tiny. That is another very nice kill for Nico Baby on the Tiny to have under his belt, and that is going to give him the BKB. 23 minutes in on top of the Blink, Agonims, and Treads. The yeah. Venge is doing a lot of work for their team, too. Like between Beastmaster Aura and Venge Aura. The tiny is all base damage, so yeah, you get like perfect. a ton of damage from that aura as comparative to most support or uh, most carries who don't build like stats or don't have high base. Yeah, it's going for the one four four build. Just I would that. even make Vlad's if I were in that position and you wanted to like end the game. Yeah, of course, someone should make Vlad's for him. I think Beastmaster might be off yeah. there. You yeah. could even go AC on the Beastmaster and have Tiny make like Butterfly or something if you wanted yeah, to go, you like, do that as well. That's pretty. That's a good idea. Because the miss chance is going to be super useful against this team. Yeah. Okay, Nico Baby. The Aegis has timed out now. He hasn't got that, but he has got the BKB. So he's still going to be very, very hard to kill at this point. Paris, he's only 30 gold away from his ag uh, Blink Dagger. And PL now has the Scardi complete. But even with the Scardi, is PL tanky enough to deal with the uh, kind of the lockdown and, you know, fighting no, power? Not yet. No, not no. yet. He needs more items. If he gets like the Fusil and Manta now with the Scotty, I think he'll be pretty strong. But that's a yeah, lot of gold that he needs to farm. The problem with this Scotty, I mean, like, he doesn't do any damage now when he jumps in. He's just tanky. Yeah. Okay, it's not. It's just like some right clicks, but it doesn't like one shot like he does with the Fusil. I think they have enough spam though to be able to kill. Like between Lina and Shaker, like if they get good Fissure, good ulti, I mean, it can kill anyone. Yeah. I think. Finally got the blink on the Panda now. Yeah. Twenty-three minutes blink or something. Pretty late. I mean, just looking at the damage of the tiny with that vengeance aura as well, he's hitting about for 340 physical damage every slap. That is a lot for 25 minutes into the game, and it's a little too much for the towers to deal with as well. They're going to potentially come in with this push now with the wave. Burning United, are they going to be able to turn this team fight into a good one for themselves? They blink back, disjointing the Lance being fired out by Sing Sing. Here we go, a little bit of a stalemate. Who's going to make the jump? They're going to catch Sing Sing in the Avalanche. Pure Evil, he does have the swap available. Maybe if he can catch Sing Sing out and swap him into the center of it all, they can burst down the PL, and then suddenly a huge amount of Burden United's defense will be taken away from them. They're going to back up and play it safe. I mean, do you feel that basically unknown, do they need to force the issue? I mean, they can it, get Roche again. Yeah. yeah, they can just wait Roche. Yeah. Like, wait Roche every time he has push, because they're kind of far ahead right now. Well, not far ahead, but they have a decent advantage on Tiny. The thing with their team as well is they have a lot of map vision, so they can yeah, control exactly. very well. They don't have to rush high ground necessarily. They have super many blinks and initiate, ways to initiate, so as soon as it's someone uh, being alone, they can just one shot the person. Okay, basically unknown. They've got three members in the raiding jungle at the moment. They might be able to catch out Paris here, the flying vision from the Hawk. He's ready to blink down. He has the Primal Rod. There we go. Blink forward, Primal Rod catches him on the corner of the Mystic yeah, was... It was very close. Um, but Sing Sing might try and fight against this, but he's got no way to stop a rise. Teeping out, but all in all, very nice pick off there to get onto the Brewmaster and tease down for a good 30 odd seconds. I mean, talking about the Shadow Fiend, Necroman's build, he's died five times, he has managed to find five kills and three assists. He's got the BKB and the mechanism. I, it, it, was that the right build? Did he need to build as defensively as he had, or should he have gone for more offensive Yeah, items? he probably realized that it was a super ganked lineup with blinks yeah. and hawks and stuff like that. I don't no think way. Mech does anything for him. Yeah, Mech didn't do that much, to be honest. They won one fight because of Mech, but. Other than that, it hasn't done anything. Yeah. That's kind of the problem when you build Shadow Fiend is like, if you make a bad item choice like that, it, that could have been like a Blink Dagger, you know? Yeah, and exactly. Then you'd have Blink BKB, and that's way better to that's, set up for your team. It's better. Okay. Well, at least come with me on the Earth Shakers. Closing in on the Blink Dagger himself. It's going to be fairly late, but he's got 1,600 gold in the bank. Um, perhaps we'll be able to get it for the next fight at least because basically that would know, be they're backing up. If you can yeah. yeah, I mean, who, once he's got the blink on the Earthshaker, who do they need to be initiating on first? Who are the key heroes they need to catch out at the start of every fight? Beastmaster is probably the... Beastmaster and Skyward are probably the easiest to kill. Yes, Skyward got 900 HP. And Beastmaster, if you can kill him before the roar, that's huge. Okay, I mean, the lead in terms of net worth, we've got 4k advantage going to the side of basically unknown and XP as well, just over the 4,000 difference. I mean, 27 minutes in, it's certainly not a not a game that can't be turned around. I mean, Birding United, we're seeing with the PR, how's he doing after the Scardi? Uh, well, we can see, in fact, there. So, he, he's got the Vlads complete, he's got the Scardi done, 1,300 gold. I mean, it, it, does he just always, you always go for the Diffuser, you never kind of skip it yeah, out. Yeah, you, you need never it, skip it. Like, um, a hero that creates so many illusions so fast, it's like... 
It's the highest damage output item you can get. The later the game goes, though, like uh, EJM was saying, it's it's like Shadow Fiend and PL are gonna out carry that tiny. So. Oh, swap from pure evil down to come with me, come with me. He holds back the fish. He doesn't want to throw sucks. it out. But oh, that that's was a huge kill. Loss. Yeah, it was so close to blink. Oh my goodness, not not good there for Burden United. Yeah, come with me, out of place. Not, we sometimes see him do that, but but God bless. Roshan's gonna be up really soon too. Yep. Pretty close. Yeah, they're probably be waiting for that before they push. Radiance Let's see the items. Is under attack. Rise with a history. Yeah, it's going for the normal AC on the tiny as well. Yeah. But this is a problem. Drunken haste destroys tiny. Because 10 second BKB Aegis and like book three on the Beastmaster, that's going to be a really hard push to stop. Yeah, but the problem is the drunken haste. You can't you can't hit buildings, so you don't kind of want to BKB a building because then the building. yeah, because then you're just going to go in on you. Okay, Lena, we were talking about Lena doing fairly well with the Yule's timing. Now sitting on 1900 gold, do you just go for the blink on Lena, uh, sorry, Lena, or do you need to get the Aghanims for against this lineup? I would... Oh, it's a tough choice. I would probably have gone the Ags way, okay. just to burst the Tiny, if you can. If you get a good stun, then you can burst him or something. Yeah. Else I would probably want blink there. Yeah, I, I wonder mean, if the uh, SF goes Scotty here, just to hit the SF, or hit the... Hit the Tiny, uh, tiny. to get the attack slow, yeah. yeah. Maybe. He's yeah. like the only hero really on the team who can help kite him. Because uh, Craggy range is 300, so any melee hero is pretty much going to get Craggy. But if you're farther away, you don't get stunned. So you can just poke him when he's BKB'd and he okay. can't really do much. Very interesting stuff. Burning Knight, they're heading up into the dire jungle, but straight Dude, away. He was double checking yeah, me. I was, I was checking. To make sure I wasn't bullshitting. <laughs> I he's out to check free, the range. Free in the range. <laughs> it's true. It is true. I'm securing an easy Roche with mass minus armor. Be down in a few seconds. Yeah, they can't do anything about this. This is incredibly quick. And, uh, so, Nico Baby on the way to the AC. He's got the recipe, he's just short of the two uh, armor items by the looks of it. And, uh, well, Roche is going to give him a bit of pocket money to help him on his way. 23 to 12, 13 minutes in. Burning Knight, they position themselves fairly aggressive at the moment. They've got their entire team in the Dire Jungle. Hookshot, though, onto Minots with the Battery Assault as well. Minots will be able to get the Yules off. He tries to get the Light Tracker Ray. Will manage to land it onto Mind Control, but the uh, toss in there from Tiny. Um, making sure that the kill is secured onto the Lina. Yeah, they're pinging out mid. Looks like they want to push. Um, it's super close to AC. I think they wait for AC before they go. What did Arise by? I know he had book, but uh, he's beast master. master. Don't bother anything. He yet. is going Vlad's though, right? That's yeah. the bass he's for, I guess. Who did what? Vanished by. Vanished got blink. Oh, I mean, what blink, do you think yeah. of that? Yeah, that's no, decent. Good. Yeah. Yes, I, I would prefer four stuff myself, but blink is fine as well. If you swap someone out and then blink out. Here we go. Here comes the push towards the mid lane. Nico Baby beginning to get some damage onto the tier three, and look at that damage. He does have the Aegis as well, so he might just stand his ground for this time being. Gets four stars back. They don't want it to pop quite yet. Paris with the blink with Primal Split. Level 11 now as well. It's just clearing out the waves here with the axes. So basically, I'm in a very, very strong position. Burden United need, need well, almost a miracle, really, if they want to try and turn a fight at this point, especially with the Aegis still on Nico Baby, who is very, very close to finishing off his Assault Cuirass. And I mean, once you get the AC on that Tiny, it's, I mean, how do you stop that kind of push? Because the towers are going to melt. They just have to spam yeah. them out. That's but the, it's, there's, there's still a problem with uh, Drunken Ace. Yeah. It's, yeah. There's no way to come, like, even if you get MKB, you don't hit buildings with MKB. I almost the think, like, just getting a heart would be okay, because you can just go yeah, back and regen. Yeah, it's probably easier to just hope just that you hit it. We hope, <laughs> hope that you hit it with uh, the Drunken on. It's regen all the time. Because you're going to get fissured and, like, slaved and stuff. It's just yeah. really annoying. Okay, Booster Trav now picked up on a rise. There's your completed Assault Caress now for Tiny. And I mean, so after the AC, you reckon you just go for the crit? He can uh, go crit. Or, yeah, I think he hearts should. okay yeah. too. Crit is like his must item, must have item on Tiny. If the DPS just goes ham. He's gonna have pretty good attack speed, of course, with the AC and of course with the uh, Beastmaster aura as well in these pushes. It's gonna be very, very nice indeed. How's the clock doing on the road to the Aghanims? He's closing in on it. He's got the Staff of Wizardry. Ah, is that his Blade of Alacrity as well? Yeah, it looks like it is. Out. Pretty good, uh, not bad. Well, not the best timing for the Aghanims, but it's certainly going to help out in these fights in terms of trying to lock down heroes like the Beastmaster. No, sorry, the uh, Brewmaster and the PL and the SF, in that fact. Yeah. And there's your Diffuse on now on Sing. But it, yeah. I mean, is it enough for this But Do you feel he can jump in and it's get the kills? It's still a very impactful item. Yeah. 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 If they get a good fight now, they can still like turn the whole game. Yep. And the Rise choose to go Boost of Travels. This is item. It's just a control choice again. Yeah. 
They're just yeah. building their team to control the map. Cowl like down this. and pick up Minus. <laughs> yep. It's nuts. So certainly picked up. There's a kill onto the lean end. Down. By the way, um, more money for the clock. MKB doesn't even work for tiny end buildings anyway. No, it doesn't. Yeah, that's yeah, what, yeah, yeah, you can't even, yeah. like. Yeah, Drunken Ace doesn't. It yeah. works against but, heroes, of course. Yeah, it works heroes, but buildings still miss. Time to push. Let's see if they can do this. Still got the Aegis on the Tiny. Burden United, they're a hero down. Lena down for 30 seconds. Doesn't have buyback available. Pure Evil blinking forward. Wave for Terra Magic Missile to come with me. Is there any kind of follow up? Or is he just trying to hold him in place? Looks like he's just trying to hold him in place because meanwhile, mid lane, the fight is kicked off. Mech gets popped. Mind Control forces himself out. Nico Baby pops the BKB. Taking a fair bit of damage though from Sing Sing and Necroman. Getting him a little bit low. Does still have that Aegis and uh, might be able to close or uh, well, get himself out before it gets popped, and he will be able to get himself out. No one loses their life on either side. Sing Sing unable to chase them down, but they do... Uh, uh, let's have a look at the racks. Did they manage to do any damage to the racks on the mid lane? No, he hit the split the range entire time. Yeah. time. He just killed the pandas, and then he ran away. Yeah. Killed a tower, at least. And I almost whole think that... Perfect rune. Yeah, that's a really nice thing to have happen, actually. I was going to say, I almost think that committing to that completely and just dying and then being giving after it came up would be better. Just because maybe they could get the racks, but turns out the, the back paid off getting a regen. Yep. The dream. Looks like they want to go yeah, straight away again. I'm surprised nobody picked up a Vlad's Vitality. Nope. No Vlad's. It's so good for their yeah, team. Yeah, it's, it's a perfect item choice. I'm, I'm guessing this is, is going to be a Vlad's. Eventually. Yeah. I mean, at this point, against uh, heroes like the PL, do you just kind of ignore the heroes and just go straight for the racks? Yeah, I think so. You like the, there's no split, so they're just gonna go. Look, to come with me, trying to stop the Earthshaker from doing oh, anything this fight. <laughs> Mystic Flare, that is a huge team fight. Gone, Primal Roar onto Necroman through the BKB, stopping him from getting the ults off. Takes so much damage, Mech is not gonna save him. Paris comes into the fight, oh, gets eight kills still straight away. Sing Sing trying to clean up, brings down Mind Control. Aegis is popped on the Tiny Arise, tries to TP out, and he will be able to get it off. Now, can Sing Sing do anything big here? Nico Baby pops the BKB, gets swapped out by Pure Evil. Paris nice. getting stunned by the Craggy. They're not gonna be able to chase down the Tiny, but Sing Sing does manage to get a double kill. As he cleans out the vengeful on top of the clock. So, really well played. Yeah, what that for was Berlin? A sick silence coming out. Yes, yeah, from base. I mean, and they get the melee racks. The clock they? found the shaker before Come With Me could blink yeah. because they had vision. And then they kill, like, there's no echo. Then they stop uh, Necroman from getting his ulti off by roaring through BKB. Yeah. And then they swap the tiny out after the Aegis. You couldn't have asked for a better push than that. Like, they yeah, still lost the heroes. Brew as well when he jumped in. Couldn't yeah. ulti. Still yeah. has his ulti. That was very well played. Game of Blink Daggers, Scarf Mage with the Blink. Yeah. yeah. Is it? I have to say they're out playing their enemies. When you have to, like their team is very good at chasing and very good at initiating. So if you have bots, Beastmaster with Blink and you have Blink Skywrath, Blink Tiny, Clockwork, you're never safe. That's the whole point of this team is no matter where you are, you can be ganked. And they're just totally taking away the control of the map from Burden. I mean, looking at the net worth, Sing Sing, he is up there, second on the board, behind the Tiny, of course. But Tiny, of course, with the uh, what the extra towers that they're oh, taking out as expected. Oh, he is? Yeah. For sure. Or is he going Daedalus? Well, some people buy Demon Edge and then Crystalis, but I think yeah. Crystalis yeah. is a better damage item first. So it would make more sense to have that, I think. But... Yeah, it doesn't make any sense to go Demon Edge first, unless he's lazy. He wants <laughs> yeah, to... it could be laziness, that's true. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, he should go crit. Yeah, uh, unless he's gonna sell his blink tire later and get a crit on that. You can do that as well. I guess he does have enough initiation on this team. Yeah, right? exactly. yeah with everyone yeah, else. He doesn't blink. really need a blink anymore. <laughs> Indeed. And how's the Roshan timer doing? Is it still a fair bit until he's... Uh, yeah, we're still a couple of minutes until we know when it's up. And, uh, so Sing Sing on the PL. After the defusal, what have we seen him be able to pick up? Um, after that, he's got the Ogre Club oh my God, he's working going on a BKB, BKB. Uh, which I think we have seen Sing Sing do before. Uh, I mean, BKB over the Manta, is that? Some, is there a reason for that? It's necessary yeah. because their team composition that they're against is almost all magic damage, yeah. except for the Tiny, of course. But if you can BKB and just beat on the Tiny, you will eventually kill him. It's just a matter of can you live long enough for the Tiny to die before you die. And without a BKB, that's not possible. Like, you just get slammed. Yeah, I would like some, someone to pick up a Lincolns maybe, so we can be KB and can't get roared. Like yeah. for the Shadow Fiend or the Peel. What recipe did he have in the base, in the Shadow Fiend? Uh, yeah, something. Let's see, Shadow Fiend. Wait, what item is he going? Sending something out, Ring of Aquila. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, I thought it was a recipe, it might have just been a TP. Yeah. Top lane. Sing Sing needs to be a little bit careful here. There's a fair few heroes inside of base of the unknown. They're just going to think forward and clear out the illusions and the creep wave. Not looking to jump directly onto Sing. 
push us here. They have five heroes all in the neighborhood for basically unknown and Burden United. They're ready to defend. They don't have the Shadow Fiend though, but he does have a TP scroll, I believe, available. So he will be able to get himself involved in the fight. Mind Control looking to try and get a hookshot initiation from the sidelines. They know that Radiant don't have any vision here. They've put the sentry onto the high grounds and they've also got the Hawk there as well to scout any observers. Here we go, Sing Sing and Paris. It's going to be back up as well. Arise, TP into the Hawk. There's your hook shot, catching out Necroman. Is anyone going to actually help? Mind Control, he gets the BKB out. Maybe that's all they wanted to do. Bait the BKB from Necroman. Mind Control might pay off his life. Your Scepter into Light Trap, but the swap from Pure Evil, a true Vengeful Spirit support, saving the life or is it? Cods come out, Sing Sing straight into them with the Doppelganger. Two heroes down on the side of basically unknown. Now, Insolent, he's on the retreat. Arise, Nico Baby, they're Trying to get out as well. Blink four from the Earthshaker, trying to catch him with the Fisher, but the blink from Scarf will be enough to get himself out of there. So, again, a fight that looked like basically unknown were coming in from a better angle. But what went wrong for them there? Just over aggressive. Arise wasn't in position to do anything when he went in. Like he was botting to his hawk when Mind Control hooked in the back, and then it's like, okay, our team is way too far to fight that, yeah. and you're horribly out of position. He was just trying to bait BKB though. Like it would have been okay if he had just cogged and then walked out, but no way to Yules. Yep. And again, <clears throat> poor Panda uses the ulti after the fight is over. Is the MKB for Tani? Yeah. It's kinda, yeah, I mean... He can good. just hit the brew split now and just kill it no matter what. Yeah, but still, brew only has level 1 Drunken Ace as well. Oh, nice blink there from my nuts. Nearly getting caught out by the Avalanche. If you slouch on this tiny now, we'll uh, load them there very, very quickly. Radiant's Roshan is back up. Is Basically unknown, they've got the clock back on the map as well in a couple of seconds. Be a very nice time to go for it. Oh, Necroman, he tries to TP out, getting roared straight away and with the double damage. Arise says, Nico, step aside. This is my kill, sir. Oh, that's not buyback. <laughs> 90 Roshan. seconds oh. down. This is yeah. big. This is uh, either free Roshan or if they just push instantly. We'll see. Looks like they are drawing to push. Yeah, they're drawing to push because yeah. they know they can get Roshan at any time. Good call, good call. Uh, almost refresher on Arise as well. It's like 2k away, maybe less. Double Roar is so strong against like these dual core teams. Like you roar the Shadow Fiend, he dies, you can roar the PL. And in the time that you're roared, since it's such a long single target disable, the PL doesn't have time to remake illusions, so the tiny just clears them all and you just die. Yep. I think the draft, honestly, from basically unknown has been sick. The tiny pick was awesome, and the way they've used Beastmaster, it's really fun to watch. I think they've been playing it really well as well. Yeah. Like you can see that they they played super well in team fights. That fight around the river when they yeah. were defending Roshan was probably some of the best fighting I've seen in a while. Like, Arise kiting the PL around for like 20 seconds and yeah. roaring in the river to make sure that they didn't go in and just kill Rosh. Uh, double well. double damage tiny. Uh, that yeah, does work this, against our <laughs> tower. The tower is there. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Hook shine onto the Earthshaker, blink forward by the Brewmaster, trying to get the Promise Bluff. Gets sent into the air, will get Ancient Seal before he can get off the ult. Nico Baby with the BKB. They've already slapped down the Earthshaker and the Lina. Lina buys back. Paris getting caught out by the Mystic Flare. He will go down. No buyback available for the Brewmaster. Three heroes down. Sing Sing getting solo. Hook shot nice. will finish him off. Minus brought back into this fight. Five heroes down. SF's going to be back GG. up. Yeah. GG is called Minus. Well, I don't know. I, I, just, <laughs> I, just 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 nuts, I just wanted to say it. 35 to 16, basically unknown. Take the first game and, well, EGM, Draskal. I mean, it just outdrafted or outplayed in your mind? Outplayed. Yeah. Outplayed, yeah. Really the, I think at any time, Burden needed only one big fight to yeah. be able to come back, but they never had the opportunity. But the, the lineup that basically unknown had drafted was built to do that, right? With Hawk Vision and Flares and being able to initiate from anywhere. Any time you try to split farm, to try to play a little bit more, you know, efficient around the map. It's like, you, you didn't get the chance, you just died. Absolutely, and well, just tip top play from them all there. Clockwork again, mind control. I think you have to think about banning that hero out because mm. yeah, he made stuff happen. He secured the early game, he was in there with the early initiations, and as soon as we went late, straight in on the Earthshaker every time. Soloed yeah. out the Earthshaker, knew that if he could get him on his own, suddenly Earthshaker would be just irrelevant for the whole fight. Couldn't cast off a single spell. Even with the Blink Dagger, I don't think we saw Earthshaker do anything no, powerful with the Blink. He got caught every single fight. That was really clutch play by him. And the tiny, well, EGM, I'm sorry to say it, but it looks like it doesn't need IO to. Uh, yeah, he just. No, yeah, well, that's, that's what I said. He <laughs> doesn't need. He, he had double aura, though. That's the other yeah. thing. Yeah. He had a tax aura and mask. base yeah. damage, so it still worked game. out. Yeah. It did. I mean, off the back of that, do you ban tiny against this side? Oh, no, no, no. no I don't no, think no, they no. feel that they got outdrafted. I think they feel like they got outplayed. Yeah. Okay. And even if they wanted to get rid of it, they'd probably just pick it themselves instead. Yeah. Just play it on Sing. Okay, well, Sing Sing again, PL.
85% win rate before this match. I believe it's going downhill for the lad. So we'll have to see if he's able to pull it back in game two. And suddenly, teams are thinking, maybe we don't need to ban the PL. All we need to do is pick Tiny against it. But ladies and gentlemen, that was game one of the final this week. Burden United versus basically alone, as you can see. I'm joined by not only EGM, but Draskill as well. We'll be back for game two very shortly. But first of all, EGM, we're going to have to kick you off the casters panel because we want you to go over there and do some top high-level analysis. <laughs> Indeed, we want to get as much work and money and uh, well use as we can from our special guests here at the Asus ROG Dream League. But uh, yeah, we'll see you back in a minute on the casters panel, back over to the hosts. And uh, Shiva and Shane and EGM await ah. you lovely viewers and Twitch chatters. We'll see you guys in a bit.